it's Lucy and welcome to our first family wildlife quiz. There will be four rounds of questions and then at the end I'll go through the answers. Some rounds are based on questions and some rounds are based on pictures. Unfortunately we don't have any prizes apart from knowing that you are the top wildlife expert in your home. So round one is all about legs. Question one, name a UK legless lizard. Question two, how many pairs of legs does a woodlass have? Question three, what mammal rolls into a ball when scared? Question four, who has more legs on each segment of their body, a centipede or a millipede? Question five, how many legs does a butterfly have? Question six, how many knees does a spider have? Here is a picture to give you a helping hand. Question seven, which bird that visits the UK virtually has no legs? Question eight, who has longer hind legs, a toad or a frog? And that's round one, all about legs, done. Now on to round two, whose poo is who? So this round works in the sense that there will be a picture of some wildlife poo and all I need you to do is identify who made that poo. Question one, whose poo is this? So they are a shape of a tic-tac. Um, you find them along riverbanks and the creature that makes these poo um, tends to nibble at grasses. So you also find that nibbled grass along the riverbanks as well. Question two, whose poo is this? So this is around the size of a 20p Sometimes they're quite a sparkly poo. Um, that's due to them eating lots of insects. Um, you might find this poo on your lawn or patio. This is one of our garden friendly wildlife creatures. So question three, whose poo is this? So these are relatively dry and crumbly and look like grains of rice. You'll find them near to their nesting and feeding spots. They are normally made up of moths, midges, and other flying insects. So question four, whose poo is this? So these vary quite a bit, depending on what they've been eating. They can be quite squidgy if they've been munching away on worms, or they could contain lots of seeds and be a slight purple tinge if they've been munching on blackberries. Question five, whose poo is this? So these are more of our smelly poos. Um, they're slightly twisted with a pointed end, and they're also known as the scat and have a lot of fur and feathers in them normally. Question six, whose poo is this? So also known as a sprain, it is relatively dark and sticky um, and if found fresh you might find some fish scales and bones in there. You might find these under bridges or along river banks. Some people think this actually smells um, really really sweet like um, a sweet hay meadow. <laughs> Question seven, Whose poo is this? So relatively big, around the size of a grape, and there could be 75 in a pile. This creature actually poos 13 times a day, it's quite a lot. Question eight, whose poo is this? So they're rather round, green, small droppings. Um, this creature actually eats its own poo to get the goodness out of it a second time. And that is the end of round two. Whose poo is who? On to round three. And this is all about creatures that have wings. Question one, which bird spends around 10 months flying without landing? And an extra tip, they arrive in the UK in between April and May. Question two, what is the color of a female blackbird? Question three, what is the only flying mammal in the UK? Question four, what UK bird has a gigantic boom call? Question five, what UK owl is recognized by its white color? Question six, hawker, skimmer, chaser, and darter are all types of what insect? Question seven, what is the fastest UK bird when hunting? Question eight, what fly looks similar to a bumblebee and sounds like one? And that is the end of round three, creatures that have wings. Now onto our last round, who's who? Question one, ratty in Wind in the Willows is what type of species? I've got a little picture to help you out. Question two, what creature lives inside cuckoo spit? So here's a picture to help you out. 
Question three. What creature is known as cheese logs, gamazos, slaters, and chiggy pigs, along with its normal name? Question four. What UK mammal box one another in the spring? Question five. What UK mammal has black and white stripes on its face? Question six. What amphibian produces long strings of double-stranded spawn? Question seven. What male newt doesn't have a crest during the breeding season? Question eight. What animal has velvety fur that brushes smooth in both directions? Here's a little picture to help you out. And that is the end of round four, who's who? And now for the answers. So I'm gonna read through the questions and then give you the answer. So I'll start with round one and all the way to round four. So round one, all about legs. Question one, name a UK legless lizard. Did you get it? It is indeed a slow worm. Question two, how many pairs of legs does a woodlice have? They have seven pairs of legs, so 14 legs in total. Question three, what mammal rolls into a ball when scared? Is of course the hedgehog. Question four, who has more legs on each segment of their body, a centipede or a millipede? It is indeed the millipede. So centipedes have one pair of legs on each segment and millipedes have two pairs of legs on each segment. Question five, how many legs does a butterfly have? They have six legs because they are an insect and insects have six legs. Question six, how many knees does a spider have? I love this question. I had no idea myself. So spiders have six jointed legs and they have eight legs. So eight times six is 48. So they have 48 knees. Question seven, which bird that visits the UK has virtually no legs is the swift. So the swift basically spend a lot of their time up in the air and they have adapted to have very, very short legs, if none legs. They do have tiny toes to cling onto cliffs and buildings, but virtually no legs. Question eight, who has longer hind legs, a toad or a frog? It is a frog. So frogs are well known for leaping, whereas toads have a shorter hind leg and are more known for crawling than leaping. So that's the end of round one. The possibility of eight points for that round. Now on to round two. Whose poo is who? Question one. This poo is a water vole, said Mr. Ratty from Wind in the Willows. Question two. You might find this poo in your garden or on your patio, depending if you have a little gap in your fence. And this poo is made by a hedgehog. Question three. This poo is made by our flying mammal, the bat. Question four. So this poo can vary quite a lot depending on what they want to eat, but is our badger. Question five. So this is our smelly poo, and this is Mr. Fox that makes this poo. Question six. So this poo you'll find along riverbanks, under bridges, and it's of course our otter, because it contains fish bones and scales. Question seven. So very, very similar to question eight, but a lot bigger and is made by deer. Question eight. And of course, this is the rabbit that eats their own poo. That is the end of round two. So at this point, if you've got them all right, you'll have 16 points, which is fantastic. And if you haven't, don't worry, because you get to learn. Now on to round three answers. Creatures with wings. Question one, which bird spends up to 10 months flying without landing? And we see in April to May, so I haven't mentioned this one already, and if you haven't got it, it is a Swift. So Swiss are really, really impressive. So they spend 10 months in the air, they can eat because they'll catch creatures up in the air, they actually mate and they can also sleep in the air. So they do not land at any point for 10 months. Crazy. Question two, what is the color of a female blackbird? It's a little bit of a trick question. The blackbirds are indeed black, but it is the male that is black and the female is brown. Question three, what is the only UK mammal that can fly? Which is of course, our bat. Question four, what UK bird has a gigantic boom call? Which is of course, the bittern. It is fantastic, you should definitely look it up if you haven't heard it already. Question five, what UK owl is recognized by its white color?
and this is Coarse Barn Owl, one of my favourites, and that I see quite a few times in the green space opposite my house. Question six, a hawker, chaser, skimmer and darter is what type of insect? It is the dragonfly. Question seven, what is the UK's fastest bird when hunting? And it is, of course, the peregrine. The peregrine has a specific hunting technique. So they will reach really high heights and, and then they close their wings going in a downward dive towards their prey. They can reach up to 200 miles an hour. Though technically this is more of a controlled fall than flying, but still pretty cool. Question eight, what fly looks similar to a bumblebee and also sounds like a bumblebee? And this is of course the bee fly. That is the end of round three. So we should have 24 points potentially. And we're now heading over to round four to get the answer for these on our guess who round. Question one, ratty in Winter the Willows is what type of creature? Even though ratty is called ratty, he's not a rat, he's a water vole. Question two, what creature lives inside a cuckoo spit? And it is of course a frog hopper. Question three, what species is known as a cheese log, a chicky pig, a gamazo or slaters? The woodlouse. Question four, what UK mammal box one another in the spring? And it's of course our hares. Question five, what UK mammal has black and white stripes on their face? And of course, it is our badger, Billy the Badger. Our EWT logo has black and white stripes on their face. Question six, what amphibian produces long strings of double-stranded spawn? And of course, this is Mr. Toad. Our toad does this, compared to the frog spawn that you'll see that is in big, big clumps. Question seven, what male newt doesn't have a crest during the breeding season? So there is three types of newt. Palmy, great crested, and smooth. And both great crested and smooth male newts will get a crest during the breeding season, but palmate newts do not, so it's a palmate newt. And finally, question eight. What animal has velvety fur that brushes smooth in both directions? And this is our mole. And that is the end of our quiz. So let me know how you did that possibility of 32. I would love to know who is the wildlife expert in your home. Thank you for watching, stay safe and stay wild.